Welcome back to Pokemans. What? Wake up playing Pokemans. No. Now we can't do our adorable gag. Shit. Give me the control. So our episode got corrupted. But that's okay, because we're bringing you yeah. fresh new content. The fans won't know, though. Wait a minute. No one knows that our last episode got corrupted because they never saw it. They're only watching this, which is what well, would have been an- Here's the thing, we don't have to get the DNA samples now. Oh yeah, we know. Because we know what they are. Crocodile and, uh, Mistrevious. I mean, unless they change, but I will honestly just- Go on record to say they did probably we, wouldn't. Did we already get the- We got the fortress. We got the fortress, and we got the- yeah, no one's gonna know what we're talking about because we've already done it now. Now we're doing it for a second time. But they're only seeing once. Ah, chew! Oh man, that sneeze was so loud. It, 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 no one even knows I opened a can of pop. Like, you, you, need to, you need to stop drinking so much pop, apparently. Your, your sneezes are carbonated. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna steal that and say it's mine. Lesser! Fucking you, fuck you, Motorama. Lesser Doge. Crater Doge. Lesser Peon. Oh, it's the Ariados we didn't catch last time! Oh, hey! Redemption shot! Hey, Ryan, we really did pull it out of the ether. <laughs> oh, now no one's gonna get our jokes! <laughs> Fuck, Look damn it! Bug. Bug. Kill it again! Oh, angry girl. Mm. Oh. So mad I have to look at this thing again! There's a shadow Pokemon! Mm. High yump kick. Yump high kick. Bam. So guys, how are you guys doing? Doing good? Oh, you know... We crit the Rhyhorn! Oh, no... That's fine. Not the Rhyhorn. I don't know how I started that. I just started doing the really Rhyhorn and <laughs> slept and... <laughs> My English is just sliding down a spiral. Oh, yeah. English is hard, though. Let's be real. We don't want to like that. I think it's the hardest language to learn right now. It is the, the hardest language to learn. And yet, we've all learned it. Our mastery of it, on the other hand, is, is just in question. I don't think we. Is have he gonna crit us this time? He did not. Uh, see, he would have survived if not the crit. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. So is that just poison, or does it count as toxic? No, it's just regular poison. Okay. Don't. That was the same as the last time. But leave us at about 98. Uh, we are psychic. No. Oh. Hi yum kick! Ah! That Grovile did a lot of bounces. He had a bit of a fit. Oh yeah, we have to battle that stupid scientist again. We still don't have um It's okay, I, I, I know what to lead with this time. Leafington? No. Um high yum kicking uh big boy from the Megaton immediately. Uh and yes. then kill let, let me I'll just by. hit I'll just leave with that card and use Sunny Day immediately. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> ah, thunder wave. Detect. Uh huh. Yeah. Some strats up in here. He sludge bombed. Yeah, my thighs protect. My thighs protected themselves. <laughs> I'll just hit detect again. Go for the double. Aha! We caught it this time. I mean, we always uh -huh. caught it. No one saw that we didn't catch it. Shh, exactly. No one needs to know. And there's a gazebo. She was fucking sitting on the bed KO'd last time I went upstairs. Alright, fine, I'll revive Leafy. Well, she is most definitely not KO'd right now. KO! But who wins? Oops. I opened the PDA! Uh oh! Oh no! Yeah, there she is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that cat. Oh no, she's here! Gazebo! 
I will eat that cat. Want to go put her in the bedroom? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, it's the, it's. Oh, the, we have to catch the bangle bang again. The bangle. The bangle. Brangle. Grangle. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's a seagull. It's a fucked up looking it's seagull. It's Fabio. It's a it's a Everybody. it's a featherless seagull. Fabio's everyone's favorite. My favorite is this card game. It's a lie. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I put a poll in the description, I'm maybe like the fuck the fuck is this? Everyone's poll. Uh, no, everyone. The who's favorite? Everyone would just say fucking Leafington or Ask Cardboon because everyone would rather be supporting Matt or loving the Lord and Savior himself. What is with some of these animations? I think it just looks like it was made of jelly for a second. Oh, uh, I saw something today. Um, so the, the models in Sword and Shield yeah. are not the same models from the 3DS. They are actually new models. They are just they just look very, very similar. I see. Okay. But they are new models. They are, that, and I was like, okay, that does explain a lot. I left her in the parental's bedroom, but Moses and Marie are also in there. Okay. Um, so, I was telling Ryan just now, uh, I saw something today. So the models for Sword and Shield are actually new models. They're not the same models. Okay. But what's the point of changing the animations? I think, but it's the, if they are new models. Okay. So that does, honestly, in my opinion, that does explain a lot. Although we still get Yamper just kind of swinging back and forward. The, the, I, I agree with a lot of the people who say like, why are you so upset about these animations that you're barely going to use when stuff like Exhaustive Beam look dope? Like the the moves you're actually going to have for the rest of the game are the ones that look cool. So why do the other ones matter? I guess that's true, but at the same time, it really still does not look good on their part when their tail whip animation is so lazy. Okay, explain what else they could do for tail whip. Oh, well, it looks fine to me. I actually swing the Pokemon's tail back and forward. Yeah, but that means they'd have to make a different animation for every single. Yeah, Pokemon and then it would be then they would properly be able to justify why they couldn't okay, put every Pokemon. Okay, but that's a lot. I think that's going too far. I think I wouldn't want to put the work in for that. So I don't know. I think yeah, that's that's a little far. And at the same time, the move animations are... Yeah, that's one thing, but that's not a part of the Pokemon's animation. The Pokemon is still performing the same style animation. Like, using Exhaustive Beam would be no different than using Flamethrower. Are you, so are for the you Pokemon saying for, itself. like, a move like Iron Tail, the Pokemon's tail should turn iron and hit something? Because Primate can learn Iron Tail, but does not have a tail. Well, I mean, they just cover that up by the whole Pokemon just turning into metal. I don't know. I just feel like... Again... I guess maybe how. I'll need to start giving you the benefit of the doubt because we are still very- we have not seen too much. For the people- I don't know, there's a lot of stuff people are complaining about that I think are the stupidest things to complain about. So certain people are still- like, Sword and Shield is fixing this obviously because you can make as many files as you want, but old Pokemon games only having one save file. I'm like, you can't compare a Pokemon game with one save file to like a, a Mario and Luigi game with two or three for two good reasons. One, Mario and Luigi does not have almost a thousand different creatures that all have not only their individual data, but data of the individual because each Pokemon, like two Nidorans, are both different. So every single Pokemon in your PC is going to be coded differently, unless it's cloned. Oh no, I love it the wrong Pokemon. Oh shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much more data. Yeah. Yeah, but they're also not putting every Pokemon in, so that clears up a lot of things. Well, in this well. one, yes, absolutely. Again, but in this one, it's not going to matter because you can have as many save files anyway. You know what, though? Like they say, that it'll be the new norm. I feel like eventually they're going to get to the point where, okay, we now know enough about the Switch. We've worked with it before. Maybe at some point in the future, they could go back on that and say, oh, well, we've figured out ways that we can get every Pokemon in there. And I still think that maybe at least one game in Gen 8 should have every Pokemon in it. I, I think <coughs> that after Sword and Shield, they'll rather make a Gen 8 game that can hold every Pokemon, or they'll just make another game that can, I don't know, I feel like eventually they'll have to, but someone brought up a, a good point that they may never actually do it again, like bring every Pokemon back for, um, like, so um, a YouTuber many Pokemon people probably know, the J-Wits. You know him. Yep. Ryan, you know J-Wits, don't you? Yeah. He brought up a few good points, like, you once Pokemon's hit a thousand, it's gonna be really hard to have every single Pokemon in the game. And he said, like, like from a person who's played the card game his entire life and rotations make it so cards usually don't last over two years, he's just kind of used to saying goodbye. But Pokemon also did mention, like, this isn't gonna be, like, the last time you see your favorite Pokemon. That doesn't mean they're never gonna come back. They'll be in future titles. Which means 
that every Pokemon will eventually be in a future title, just not Sword and Shield. Yeah, but I think the problem is people are more or less focused on the fact that they just don't want these limits to begin with. You also need to remember, this is the first main mainstream Pokemon game title. Like, they could just be testing the waters. Like, after this, they could realize, oh, we put up the games and we still have plenty of room to work with. So we could probably put in all the next Pokemon in the next game. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll see. Again, we never know. Like, development can change... Regardless of what, regardless, I, so. I do disagree with one point Jay Witt's made, though, because he's used to the Pokemon card game meta, which is in blocks. The Pokemon video game meta has been dependent on every Pokemon being returning. Since. Yeah, I was about to say, um, when Sun and Moon first came out, and Pokebank wasn't available, the meta was different, because you couldn't use Pokemon like Landorus and Thunderous and those guys, because they are native to the game. But that didn't change the meta because you could always go on Pokemon Showdown and play there because every Pokemon is available. Now with Pokemon Showdown, the meta is going to be like, okay, well, now we're going to have to have two different OU versions. One with every Pokemon and the OU that's meant for Sword and Shield because Sword and Shield is never every Pokemon. And that will fail. I guarantee no one's going to really play it. Alright, so Metachamp's going to die because it's Electrodes. Oh, wait, I'm just going to use Detect. Aha! I was like, they're just gonna double up on him anyway. Man, I wish in this game, uh, Lightning Rod made you immune to electric types. Yeah, I think it was that was in Gen 5 they made it that you're immune to electric move, but in this one it just draws them in. Hey! I mean, most people don't get Lightning Rod already resist that, so. It's a huge deal. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and double protect. Because, uh, I mean, they're just gonna kill him anyway. Yeah, we got the double, Matt. Yeah. Aha. Oh. Aha. Peasant. Peasant. If we're lucky, the Octrope will die to poison. It will die to poison, and then we can high jump and be like, "Yeah, for us." Wow, we did a lot better this time around, eh? That's a good thing, I think. Oh, let's just hope it actually dies. Yeah, we good. Goodbye, Electro. Goodbye, Ball. I love my Ball. Same. I'm still very confused why Electro doesn't seem to learn a lot of electric type attacks. It's terrible. I'm pretty sure the only move lands through level the spark, isn't it? I Naturally, I, I think so. I just realized I could have been using Lightspeed. Just be taking away less from Thunder. Now I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. Well, you've corrected your mistake. Hi, uh, Yum Kick! Wah! I mean, my thighs would still die. Oh to my god, it lived. Yeah, but. Yeah, I was gonna kill our boy. Crit. Well, yeah, good that thing, crit good really mattered. Good eh? to know that light screen mattered. I mean, it would have probably killed that HP to value anyway. There you go, Matt. We'll give him some XP. Yeah. Blap. He's our only fire type. Trust me, when the end of the game rolls around, I'm gonna be doing my best to trade everyone to a decently high level because, again, besides. The you know, like, leaving has been putting in some work. Besides Leavington, uh, Ampharos, and Suicune, like, like, um, Metacham hits hard, but it isn't bulky. I've already explained my problems with Fcargoon, and, like, Big King Fluve is pretty bulky, but, like, one, until we have Dragon Dance. Don't we have Dragon Dance now? We have Dragon Dance. Oh, right. But... Until we have EQ, he's gonna be kinda... Yeah. He got weak. He doesn't have a whole lot to use for Dragon Dance. Okay, so I really don't want to go back to heal, so I have an idea. You have a rare candy one? We could use one of our rare candies to revive them, yes. Um, I'm actually gonna do this. Wait, that actually works? Yeah, it revives them because they gain HP, and it wouldn't make sense if they didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Ask the game developer. Why didn't you use the Hyper Potion on my thighs? Because I'm not gonna heal my thighs. I just wanted them to not be dead. Uh, her. I heard not to be dead. Um, because it's already at 41 anyway, so we're gonna bring everyone back to where it's supposed to be. Eh, ah, whatever. Alright, let's go. Cool. Uh, let's go into the next episode! Oh, there's a trainer! Next episode! Uh, okay. Okay. Rip.